Hi there, I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team at EXP Realty here in the Space and Treasure Coast. And today I wanna to talk to you about the really lovely community called Antilles here in Vero Beach, Florida. Antilles is a really beautifully maintained gated community. It's off of US 1, Highway US 1, as you go north in Vero. So it's set northeast in Vero Beach, Florida, right off of Highway US 1. And um, it is managed by a homeowners association. So you do have a traditional HOA here that manages the grounds. Um, and it really, uh, the way that I would describe Antilles is it's a very a well maintained really beautiful um, richly landscaped uh, really nice community the houses are like medium to large size maintained very well again the community in general and all the common facilities are maintained at a very high level there's wonderful amenities here. It's a very walkable community. And to be perfectly honest, it's one of my favorite communities in Vero Beach, Florida. The types of homes that you're gonna find in Antilles are all single family residences. So standalone single family homes. And they range from about 2,200 square feet to around 3,400 square feet. So your 2,200 square foot home is gonna be like a three bedroom, two bath. Um, all the way up to five bedroom, four bath options in here. And of course those are larger. There are uh, single story and double story homes. Most of the homes in Antilles are single story, single family residences, but there are um, a handful of two story options in here. The aesthetic of the types of homes that you're gonna find in Antilles is so nice. I mean, really high level aesthetic in this community. That's one of the things that I like that they did when they planned this community. Um, they're all concrete block homes. They either have tile, like a barrel tile or flat tile, whatever the owner's preference is, but tile roofs or metal roofs. It lends to a really high-end feel and very high pride of ownership. And one of the other things that I really love about this community that I mentioned just a moment ago is the trees, like the landscaping. The homes in here are really lushly landscaped. So you're gonna find a lot of different varieties of bushes and plants and trees and flowering plants, tropical flowering plants um, on most of the lots in here. And another thing that the community did that I really, really love, actually one of my favorite parts about Vero Beach, Florida is the oak trees. I love the live oak trees the most, but the oak trees are really, really beautiful. And what Antilles has done is they've planted oak trees along the sidewalks throughout the community. So especially in the um, earlier developed part of this community, when you're walking through it really has like, um, a traditional neighborhood feel that's really nice. You're walking on the sidewalk, you have these beautiful trees, these lovely homes around you. It's a really nice experience to live here. All right, so the kitchen I'm standing in today is uh, in one of the houses here in the newer wave of construction. Uh, this is actually a, a 2022 built model here in Antilles. And there was actually two phases of construction in this community. Just a little history for you if you're interested in this community. Um, the first wave of construction commenced in 2007 and they built out the northern part of this community. So you'll see a little bit of difference if you're walking or driving this community in the architecture. There's just a, a minute uh, difference. And in 2007, uh, a company called Ironwood developed the north part of this community and built it out. Um, some things happened with the real estate market, as we know, and they stopped building. So half of this community was built from 2007, well, it was built in 2007, but they stopped. So half of the community existed from 2007 until 
10 years later in 2017, when DR Horton got the um, contract to continue building out the rest of the community, the south and east side of the community. So DR Horton finished this community in 2022 was the last year that they finished out all the remaining lots. So DR Horton built from 2017 to 2022, and this is one of the models that I'm standing in here today. Um, all of the homes in here are really beautiful. Again, high pride of ownership, um, high level of workmanship and craftsmanship. And again, that's one of the things that I really love about this community. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that is lesser known about this community. So when it was first being built, the first wave of construction in 2007, they were actually one of the very unlucky builders who happened upon Chinese drywall in their uh, construction and building materials. So many of the homes in that first 2007 wave of construction were affected with Chinese drywall. I remember um, when I started selling real estate, oh my gosh, almost 10 years ago, there were still a few houses remaining in here that were being remediated from that Chinese drywall. So just kind of give you an idea from 2007 when those were built up to about seven years later in 2012, 13, 14, they were still remediating that Chinese drywall out of that first wave of building. And not every house was susceptible, but there was definitely a handful, um, a significant number, I would say, here in Antilles that were affected with that Chinese drywall construction. It has since been remediated, so those properties were identified, um, some of them some of them were ended up in a distressed condition and then were purchased and remediated and all of that different stuff. But the Chinese drywall has been remediated out of um, that older section and replaced with all the appropriate drywall, replaced with all the appropriate piping, all of that good stuff, the homes were remediated. Um, but for a while, there definitely was a taboo on this community here in Antilles because of kind of that stain of the Chinese drywall that happened when they were building the first wave. So again, since been remediated, obviously it's no longer an issue, um, especially not in the new wave of, of construction. But uh, yeah, just like a, a little bit of a funny history here in this community. Um, again, the homes, I they're so n nicely done. Honestly, the craftsmanship, even in the 2007 wave, the craftsmanship was so nicely done. It was really a shame actually, going off on a tangent here, but it was a shame to walk into those houses knowing this one has Chinese drywall. They're gonna have to rip it all down and build it all again, because they were done really nice. Um, and, and most of them had like a really custom feel to them too. But anyways, just a little backstory for you. I uh, thought it might be interesting to share. What I would recommend is if you're purchasing in Antilles and you're purchasing anything that was built like prior to 2018 or 19 when DR Horton started their construction, definitely have a Chinese drywall um, inspection done. There's certified inspectors that can do that for you here. Typically, we don't recommend that in most homes, and they they weren't affected by Chinese drywall. Most homes here, and we look like if if you're going under contract with a home that was in a certain year time frame, from like 2005 to 2007 or eight, that's one of the things that we're looking out for when we're doing our inspections or when we're walking through a house as a real estate agent, just kind of knowing knowing what was going on during that time frame. Um, but I would say if you're purchasing an Antilles where we knew that there were occurrences of that Chinese drywall, just as a professional, I would tell you, definitely spend the extra money, have that um, additional inspection done, just so you have the guarantee and that you know that that's no longer an issue, okay? But again, like, if, if the house had undergone the proper remediation, then you're good to go. It's like new piping, new um, wiring, uh, new drywall. They break it all down to the studs and build it back up.
But if you're purchasing an Antilles, that's something that I definitely want you to be aware of. And it's really uh, important that you understand when you're partnering with somebody, um, looking at homes in the area, you want to find agents that know the history of communities. You want to partner with somebody who can be your advocate in that way. And they're looking out for the things that you don't know that you need to look out for. So just as an aside, um, just make sure you're covering yourself in that way and guaranteeing that you're making a smart investment. But again, I love this community so much, so I'm gonna keep talking about all of the really wonderful parts uh, about it. Okay, so um, let's talk about the Homeowners Association. What are they responsible for? Um, how much does the Homeowners Association cost here? What kind of amenities are you going to get in Antilles? Okay, so your homeowners association is going to be responsible for your common area, of course, uh, security. So it has a really beautiful, nice gated entrance. So the homeowners association is going to manage and maintain that. We have really lovely um, sidewalks all throughout the community. We also have uh, the individual lawns and the irrigation all maintained. I believe they even do mulch, the mulching and trimming back of like pruning of trees and different kinds of stuff. Um, so your lawn care is going to be covered by the HOA. They handle that as well. Um, there is a really, really nice clubhouse. I mean, really next level, beautiful clubhouse here in Antilles. Uh, there you're gonna find like meeting area, sitting area, um, bathroom facilities of course you're also going to have a billiards room and like a card kind of area where you can sit down and you can play cards uh, you're also going to find a fitness room a really really nice big pool a hot tub that's really lovely they have a grilling area right out um, off of the pool there. And then there's an HOA office um, right off of there. Right now they have a full-time staff there a couple times a week. So if you needed anything, you can actually go talk to a real life person um, at that HOA office. So right outside of the clubhouse off to the west side, there's um, two large tennis courts and there's like a little covered area where you can sit, take a break or whatever inside of the tennis courts, which is nice. It's just, it's a spacious tennis court. And there's also a small little um, playground for kids. So there are a lot of amenities that are provided here inside of Antilles. All right, so how much is all that gonna cost you? So the HOA fee here in Antilles is $375 a month. It used to be much, much higher than that. I can tell you from experience, I've sold a few houses in here over the years, and now it's gone down to $375 a month for all of those um, great amenities and great services that are offered. All right, so let's say you wanna purchase a home in Antilles. You wanna live here and become part of this really nice community. How much are you in for, okay? So obviously it's going to depend on the home, the size of the home, the lot, are you located on a lake? Are you not located on a lake? Are you on an exterior lot? Are you on an interior lot? Um, some of them are like larger corner lots. All of those things play a factor, but the, the general price range is the low to mid 400,000s to the mid 700,000s, okay? Obviously, again, it, it's based on prices, how the home is finished, age of the home, those types of things, like features and amenities of the home. But on the lowest end, you're in the 400,000s. On the highest end, you're in the 700,000s. And of course, if you're interested in looking at homes in Antilles, reach out to us, because we can let you know exactly what inventory is available and what's available to you in specific uh, price range, size, et cetera. We can help you with all of that. So I've got two more things that I wanna cover with you before we wrap up here on Antilles. So the first is proximity to the beach, okay? That is so important here when you're living in Florida, especially when you're in a city that's right here nestled against the coast. How long is it gonna take me to get to the beach? I wanna know that. So you have two options. You can either go just north to Wabasso Bridge. It's gonna take you over the bridge and spill you right into the um, Wabasso Beach public access. And there's a 
handful of other public accesses as you go north towards Sebastian on Orchid Island, but that's the one that it spills you right into, is the Wabasso Beach Public Access, which is just north of the Vero Beach um, Disney Resort. Okay, so that's your first option. Your second option is to go south and go over the Barber Bridge, the Merrill Barber Bridge, and that's gonna spill you into the Sexton Plaza and that uh, public beach access right there where, you, where you've got like Mulligans and Ocean Grill and that spits you out right at the top of Ocean Drive and there's shopping and restaurants and all kinds of stuff to do down there, okay? So two options. If you go north to Obaso and over, it's about seven minutes drive. Um, I wanna say it's about like a five, five mile drive, or something like that. So you're gonna go up over w Wabasso Bridge there. So quick. If you go south to the Barber Bridge and over, it's gonna take you about 15 minutes drive. It's nothing. 15 minutes drive, it's about, I wanna say eight miles from Antilles all the way over, spit you into Sexton Plaza. So it's very, very close and very convenient to get from Antilles um, here in the community to either one of those super close beach accesses. And then of course, we're right on the river here. Um, so if you wanted to get to uh, any kind of river access, we're really close. Well, Basso is a great place to get access to the river. So again, a couple miles north, and then you have river access there. Okay. Um, you also have uh, very close proximity to like Publix, UPS store. There's a whole plaza just south of us, a couple of miles. Literally takes you less than five minutes to drive there from here. Great bagel place, lots of options, Walgreens, whatever you need. We're also less than 10 minutes drive from the hospital and all those doctor suites right there at uh, close proximity proximity to the Indian River Hospital. So very, very close to the hospital for convenience. And there's a handful of different uh, golf courses that are available to you, very close driving distance. You got Bent Pine, you've got um, Sand Ridge, really close right here, and a handful of other ones if you like to golf, if that's your favorite activity and you wanna frequent that. So definitely conveniently located to a multitude of different things that you may need to get to at any moment's notice. All right, so let's round this out with some pros and cons. Um, I've been talking this whole time about all of the things that I love about Antilles, but just to highlight it, some of the pros of this community are very high uh, pride of ownership, okay? Um, the HOA does a fantastic job maintaining this community. Um, it's Really, I, I've been in so, so many different communities here in Vero Beach, Sebastian and the surrounding areas, and they do an exceptionally well job here in this community. Um, some of the other pros that I have is it's conveniently located to all the little things that you need if you forgot milk or sugar or whatever, you know, out of eggs, it's a hop and a skip to go get whatever you need. If you have a sick kid and you need to go grab medicine, Walgreens is literally right down the road. Um, so really conveniently located to a lot of different things that you might need at a moment's notice. Okay, another pro is that we're so close to a major highway, like we're right off of US-1 here. You come out of the community and it spits you out onto US-1. I think it's very convenient for travel-wise travel, travel -wise, if you have to go north, if you have to go south, if you have to get anywhere quick, you're right off of this highway and it's very convenient. All right, so flip that on its head and let's talk about some of the cons, okay? So one of the cons actually is also that we're right off of US-1, okay? Even though it's really convenient to hop right on US-1 and go north and south, you do get a lot of traffic and it's fast moving traffic, okay? So you have to be really careful when you're coming in and out of this community um, that you're paying attention to incoming traffic and outgoing traffic and all of that stuff because it's fast moving. So that's one thing I would definitely um, just caution you about. The second thing is, even though we are located to a lot of conveniences, a handful of conveniences here, uh, like the northeast part of Vero, uh, one of the cons is that we're not centrally located, okay? You're really not centrally located in Vero Beach, which can have a lot of, um, a lot of great things, like 
a lot of convenience to it, right? Like to be centrally located in Vero Beach, you're close to everything. You're close to Walmart, Target, uh, restaurants, this, that, shopping, right? That's not the case here. We're definitely uh, northeast in Vero off of the beaten path. There are not a lot of um, other developed communities around us yet, kind of like up here on our own at the moment. Um, so I would say that that is a con because we do have a handful of conveniences, but we don't have everything we need right there in close proximity. And then my last con, and I have complained about this in other videos, is it's buggy, right? We're close to the Indian River Lagoon where we sit here in East Vero, and um, the mosquitoes and the no they are here. So if you are going to take a stroll out in the community, just make sure you have your bug spray, you have long, um, long pants, long shirt, whatever you need for that kind of protection um, so that you can kind of keep the bites away. So that, that is what I would say are really honestly the only three cons that I can think of of this community. It is a lovely community. Again, it's one of my favorite um, HOA community options in Vero Beach, Florida. Uh, I like it that much. So aesthetically, it's just really, um, it's really up there at the top. All right, so that is a wrap on Antilles community in Vero Beach, Florida. I hope you enjoyed this video. My biggest hope is that it was helpful to you in some way, painted a vision for you what um, this community is like and what it would be like if you chose to live here. Uh, always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us. Me and my wonderful team of agents here at the Carroll Home Team um, are very familiar with this area. We're experts at what we do. We are happy to speak with you about any questions and concerns that you may have and really be advisors for you here in this lovely community. So please don't be a stranger. Um, also, you can leave your questions and comments um, down below for us. We check those all the time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, hang, hang around because I've got more coming for you. Thanks. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.